Alrighty, here I am. I just, <laughs> I just recorded 20 minutes of video, only for my mic not to have been on. So, uh, I was originally telling a story about how I met my boyfriend, but obviously <laughs> we're going to tell a different story and that's just going to be a story for another day. So today I am telling the story of how my brother threw a rock at my head and I had to go get stitches. So this was when I was like in elementary school, um, so a small little kid. And my brother, John, is, like, three years younger than I am, um, so, like, old enough to, we've, like, practically, like, grew up side by side, um, so I'm not that much older than him, so we're both in, like, elementary school, I think, like, second grade, he had to have been in kindergarten, and <laughs> this is the dumbest story ever. But, uh, you know, we're running around the playground, like, dumb little kids. It was, like, after, after school, um, and our playground had, like, this hill, right? And, of course, like, dumb little kids, we, we, like, the hill was, like, infamous. It was, like, the hill, you know? Everyone was, like, oh my god, the hill. It was literally just a hill. <laughs> You know, like, kids would, like, hang out by the hill, and it would be so cool, because it's, like, the hill. I don't know. Like, literally, it was just hell. It was just, there's nothing cool about it. There was a hill. It had grass. It had rocks. Um, as you're about to find out. So, we are running around after school, playing on this dumb hill, because it was so cool to run, to play on the dumb hill. And my brother, he... I guess, grabs a rock, and I, I remember I was on the top of the hill, and he was on the bottom of the hill, and mind you, this is not even that big of a hill. I, like, as kids, it felt like it was a pretty big hill. Trust me, it's like, not, it wasn't anything. It was not even a hill, it was just kind of a pile of dirt, in retrospect. <laughs> so, I was on the top of this hill if you want to call it that, he's on the bottom. And, you know, we're playing, and we're running around, and we're being stupid little kids. And he's like, hey, Bree, like, look at how high I can throw this rock. And, again, that's the dumbest thing ever. But he was like, I'm going to see how high I can throw this rock. And I was like, cool. <laughs> because I guess kids are amazed by dumb things like that so i'm on top of the hill he's about to throw this rock and he throws the rock it arcs like perfectly so i'm about to draw on the screen um to show you here is this dumb little hill here is me i'm on hill here is my dumb i made his head too big granted that's literally how big his head is. He throws this rock, it angles, and hits me straight in the head. <laughs> and I don't even know how to describe the impact. I don't even think I remember the impact. All I remember is like the world, the world went white. Like it was one of those impacts. The world went white. Um... <laughs> It, I'm not really sure if it hurt. I don't even remember. I just, the world went white. It, like, I don't even know. Like, this, that's how, like, how bad it was. It hit my head. It, hit, like, hit me straight in the forehead. And, <laughs> um, I run down, I guess, to, like, go grab, like, an adult or something. Because I, you know, my head was hit hit with a rock and I remember I'm like running over to like where my like my parents were and I'm like starting to wobble you know <laughs> like and as I like run over to where all the the other parents are they look at me 
and they are just horrified because I guess blood was like running down my forehead but it didn't, I didn't know that it didn't feel that like I said like I'm not really sure I felt anything other than like just dizziness but they looked horrified as soon as these parents saw me they start like screaming for someone to grab like, baby wipes and they're panicking and like I don't even think I I don't think I even like saw my parents at this point I think these it was just the the parents that were freaking out they're having baby wipes and finally I see my parents and they look horrified you know grant probably because my head was bleeding out and I'm about to pass out you know like a little second grader and everyone's panicking and they're trying to figure out what happened and like John threw a rock at me and so we you know run to the hospital and I have like a baby wipe or something on my head and I feel just like so out of it. I'm like literally about to pass out. And my parents are like, John, if if Bree like gets if Bree needs stitches, you're gonna be in so much trouble. And like, yeah. <laughs> and we went we went to the ER and it wasn't that bad, luckily. I just needed like one of those like butterfly bandages where it's just I think they literally just like glued my head together. I don't think I have a scar from it. If I do, I probably have to like scrunch my forehead or something. But <laughs> literally the dumbest story because he was like, hey, I'm gonna throw a rock. And I was like, okay, I'll throw the rock. I don't know why we sound like old people on that impression, but. So if you ask him about this story, he claims that he did not throw the rock directly at my head, the rock bounced off another rock and hit me. But I don't think that's the case. Again, I'm going to show you this. This is the hill. This was me on it. This is him. Right? It's not even that big of a hill. He claims that the rock arced, hit another rock that was here, and then hit me. I don't think that's the case. My mom believes him, but that's because he's her favorite. Um, but 100%, he just straight up threw a rock at me. And <laughs> I had to go to the hospital. And that was that. <sighs> we, we, we weren't siblings who, like, ever hurt each other. Trust me, I have... If you want to hear some crazy sibling stories, my cousins and my mom and my aunt have some crazy sibling stories. We weren't ever like that surprisingly the dumbest things that we have ever tried to do to each other is like draw on the wall and then be like mom john drew on the wall and like that was it we both we both try to play that game where we just try to get each other in trouble <laughs> but yeah he uh threw a rock in my head i don't think i ever got revenge for that honestly not that I'm, no mm -hmm. now that i'm saying that i should throw a rock in his head i'm just saying that I was a good sister who didn't do anything bad to him. Not at least not that I not that I remember. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy my impromptu story since I have you know, a twenty minute long story that I just kinda threw out the window. And this was very impromptu. Uh I hope you like it. I hope you wanna see more videos because I really, really wanna keep doing this and I want to stop serving coffee to people so badly so please support my videos and you know like them share them subscribe literally anything helps uh check out my links in the description if you want to see more from me i have my instagram and i'm trying to post on or not post ah you don't post on twitch uh i'm trying to stream on twitch more often um and I'm trying to have a regular schedule of posting every other day, but I was sick for two days. So that kind of got thrown off, but here I am determined. So thank you for watching. I hope this was entertaining and I will see y'all in the next video. Thank you. Bye guys.